A game called Dinosaur's Dominion came out recently in Early Access, and today I'll be playing it to see if the game has what I'm looking for. Here's my dinosaur game wishlist. If the game doesn't check all the boxes, then it's not my dream dinosaur game. When I began the game, I chose Lythernax as one of only two playable dinosaurs. The first thing I tried out was the movement. It surprisingly had good turning. That's a good sign. I test the combat as well, with the main attack being a three-hit combo, while the second attack is a strong hit that uses a lot of stamina. One thing I noticed whenever I moved was the camera would also move with me, as if I locked onto something when I didn't. Oh, oh, there's an enemy dinosaur. Okay. When I got a few hits in, this happened. So that's how you do it. What the- oh my gosh, the camera is so all over the place. I took it down and tried to see if I could eat it, but to no avail. I come across the next enemy and tested the dodging mechanic. It's a little wonky, but it works. After taking it down, I enter a cave and find the first real obstacle, a Majungasaurus, or at least it appears to be. I try to take it on, and this is how that went. Okay, this one's different. oh gosh. Ooh. Oh, oh, <laughs> dang it. As far as I'm aware, this game is a roguelike with Souls-like combat, or at least it should be. So because I died, I had to restart from the beginning. Now up to this point, I was using controller, but when I tried the keyboard and mouse controls, it felt way better, so I went with that instead. I came back to the dino I fell to, and... Oh! Okay, okay. No, listen, 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 listen. Oh, what? What? Yeah, I died again. I came back again, and this time I managed to beat it, which meant I could now move on. I exit the cave and find separate paths, which meant I had to choose. Do I go in this cave, or do I go that way? I take the caveless path and encounter a new foe, the Styracosaurus. But since I got the hang of the combat, I beat it pretty easily. <laughs> but what I found next was the key to my success, another Majungasaurus. But this one was different. It had more saturated colors. But what did this dino have that would help me succeed? I would have to beat it to find out. When can I heal again? Do I only have a limited number of heals? Wait, I can cheese it. I can cheese this. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Life steal. Oh, this is the roguelike element. Okay. I've never come across a dinosaur game with this mechanic before. But regardless, I went with life steal because one, healing when I attack, and two, uh. After that, I hit a dead end with words saying region coming soon. This had me wondering what said region could be. A snowy landscape? A grassland, perhaps? Or maybe even a volcano? I went back, entered the cave I passed before, and easily beat another Styraco. I made it to the end of the cave and walked out of it to see a rather nice view before coming across a Brachiosaur corpse. I can't eat corpses, but I can go right through them. <laughs> I once again find myself in a split path, so I had to decide, either the cave or the open path. I take the path to the right like last time, and fight my way through enemy dinosaurs until I see a massive cave. I go in and encounter a Mapusaurus, which is the game's boss. This is how the fight went. Mapusaurus. That's right, this was from the demo I played once. Dark Souls boss. Wait, I can cheese him. Oh gosh. Okay. Heal. Oh gosh, the stomp. About half health. Oh gosh. Oh, oh, I'm cheesing it. I'm cheesing it. Oh, oh, oh. Strong attack. Strong attack. Okay, okay. Oh gosh. Oh, I got him. Let's go. <laughs> With that, I beat the game's first boss. Now there isn't too much more to do in the game, but there is still the other playable, the Centrosaurus. So I selected it and began playing the dino. As I was going through the game, the Centro felt much better to play. The only real issue was the strong attack not working half the time. When I beat the Blue Majungasaur again, I chose Toxic Strike this time. After enjoying the view again, I proceeded down the cave I skipped last time. I go down to a river and see what looks to be
be a Baryonyx. Thanks to the DOT from Toxic Strike, I take it down and get my next buff. I go for Stamina Reduction, as it's likely the best perk given my stamina usage. After that, I took on Mapusaurus, and because of my poison strats, in combination with some cheese, I beat it with almost no effort. And now that there was nothing left to do, it was time to give my final thoughts. I really like this game so far. Now, I don't know how long this game's gonna be in early access, but I really hope that this game does well in the future. Adds more dinos, polishes the combat a little bit, fixes the lock-on issue with the corpses already dead, and I think it should be good. I had more fun with this game than I thought, but is it my dream game? No. While it does check the combat and movement boxes, it's not open world. But I will say this, the game has a lot of potential, and I could see myself making more content on it in the future. But one thing's for sure, we finally have a dinosaur game that has action combat as a main mechanic. Even if it's rough around the edges. But that's to be expected of an early access game. Since the game is only $5 on Steam, I honestly would recommend it. I might make a video on the game's combat soon. But until then, watch this video where I go over the dino combat in Exoprimal, as it's the combat I want to see in future dinosaur games.